Hi, I'm Kutzai and today I'm going to introduce you to how to build industrial IoT applications using Node-RED. Uh, as you will see, the simplicity of Node-RED allows you to focus on identifying an opportunity of gaining insights uh, by collecting data from your factory equipment and then you can go on to build applications uh, without having to develop everything from scratch. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Node-RED and then we're going to create a very basic flow. So Node-RED can pretty much be installed on any computer system uh, ranging from tiny devices such as uh, the Raspberry Pi to uh, a PC and then also on industrial uh, devices such as this programmable automation controller. When Node.js has finished installing, you can then check to see if it was successfully installed by typing in this command. And then you can proceed to install your Node.red using the command as follows. And then when the Node.red installation is complete, you can run Node.red using the following command. And then as you can see, our Node-RED server is now running at localhost port 1880. So we'll go ahead and visit that address. So as you can see, the Node-RED environment enables you to wire together blocks of software called nodes that have been pre-built for a specific device machine, database, or a cloud service. When nodes are wired together like this, it's called a flow. Any industrial device that you can think of most likely has a block of code that has been pre-built for you to use. All you need to do is simply install it. Let's go ahead and create a new flow. All the nodes appear on the blade to the left and they are categorized as input nodes, output nodes, social media nodes, storage nodes, nodes according to a device vendor and so on. So to create a flow, you drag your nodes onto the canvas, join them together and then you can configure them accordingly. Okay, so that's it for our introduction into Node-RED for Automation Engineers. Thanks for watching and please stay tuned as we take a deep dive in the following videos.